GT 250Rs. Oh my god. First stock cars. Cause I've been sipping on Henny I got the study of my vision And she ain't from the city And she ain't foreign And she born in love The way you twerk it shawty Throw my money on her own I call it independent shawty What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel I'm Evil Rabbit Here on Forza Motorsports 7 To do something different We're gonna be drifting Now I know a lot of you guys are saying Rabbit, that's not different You always do drifting But it is gonna be different Because we are not gonna be using our own cars We're gonna be drifting rental cars I mean, what could go wrong? We're going to drift some rental cars. I mean, we'll just make sure we pay that extra money for that extra insurance because if you follow the channel, you know uh, it's probably going to happen at least once, if not more. It's bound to happen. Uh, you yeah, are probably going to wreck. So, we are going to rent some cars, and I want to see what cars you could buy without modifying in any way. No tire pressures, no tuning to it, and drift with it uh get you know steering fluidity and fluidity <laughs> can't speak today hopefully i can drive get steering fluidity down and just be able to enjoy drifting and learn uh, and get a little bit better at handling of the car so we're going to pick some cars up we're going to go with suzuka short because it's got a nice high speed entry it's got some nice flowy transitional turns and a little bit of an elevation change so we are going to rent our first car it's not going to be that acura Although that thing is nasty. I haven't driven it yet. Definitely going to want to drive it. So. We are going to rent our first car here. Don't think it's going to be an Acura or an Alpha. AMC. Or an Ariel. Uh, I don't think we're going to go with BMWs. Although that M6 and the M5 look pretty nice. The M1s. I think we're going to stick with cars that uh, I've used before in drift cars. So. 2017 ZL1 Camaro. We're going to give this a shot first. So this is our first car on our list. While my computer over here is opening other tabs. Like I said, these cars are going to be completely stock. I wanted to find out a car that you could just get into and basically learn how to drift or drift it easily without you know having to worry about if you're not good at tuning or if you don't know a tuning setup or downloading a tune. Just being able to buy the car and drive it how it is. Um, I've had a lot of fun doing stock car drifting before. So uh, we're here at Suzuka in the ZL1, our first car on our list of rental cars for today. So let's see uh, how this ZL1 does. Oh, well, this should be interesting. All right, fourth gear. Let's just do it. Send it in there. Not bad. Bad off the start. Third downshift. Ah, uh, I mean, not bad actually for for stock. This is actually really nice. So we're gonna come into this turn, e-brake in, a little bit more e-brake so we don't go on the dirt as much. Look on power. There we go. Now we're gonna do two laps. Actually, this car drives really nice. I would have not cut that turn short. This car actually handles very well stock. A little clutch kick in third. And it, you know, it steps out. A little clutch kick this way over the hump in the dirt. But so ZL1. So far, it looks promising. We got one more lap on this car, though. We're going to try and get a good lap here and see what she can actually do. I've been wanting to do these rental car drifts for a while, so that's the main purpose of here today. Fourth gear, 100 miles an hour. There we go. Downshift to third, I cut it too short. The car has power, and you know what? It's a heavy car, so I think the weight's helping. But no e-brake with that, just weight shifted that, a little clutch kick. There we go. Actually, this is uh, amazingly handling well. So the first car on our stock list is ZL1 or ZL1. Um, I don't think it needs any real tuning. I mean, it's 
you know, like I said, these are rental cars, so we can't change them. Ah, uh, too fast. But we still saved it. So, I would definitely give this car a good, you know, stock, out of the box, drifting. Uh, we're gonna go across the line sideways. No, we're gonna go across the line backwards. 360 for style. So Z01, stock drift car. Um, that was pretty dope. It didn't hit the wall. It handles pretty well. Um, I have a feeling we have to go to its rival, which is probably going to be the GT350R. I'm gonna go restart because I don't want to. We're gonna stay here at Suzuka. Now, unfortunately, we don't get credits or anything because they are rental cars, but that's not the purpose of this episode today. This purpose is to try to find cars that uh that drift well. Well, there is Dodge, but no, there's no Dodges. Oh, wait. Rent's car. Ah! <laughs> Get wrecked. I was looking at my own cars. What kind of Dodges do we got in here? Uh, I mean, that's Fast and Furious car. We got the Dodge SRT Hellcat. Uh, we're going to have to rip the Hellcat, I think. Yep, we're definitely going to have to try the Hellcat out. And we got the Charger RT, too. Okay, so we're going to try those cars out, but what I want to do is I want to hop into the Ford GT350R and give that a go and see how sideways this thing gets not the uh not the wide body one which looks amazing the just stock GT350R here at Suzuka like I said the Camaro drifted pretty well for you know being stock these are all rental cars so if you wanted a good car to basically learn fluidity and drifting that Z01 is a pretty good car to do see how this uh, GT350R handles. Fourth gear. Throw it in. I'm gonna brake. Okay, so this car handled that turn a little bit better, I think, than the Camaro. I'm coming into the night into the sweepers. I heard that a little too early, but ooh, okay. Alright, this car is really smooth. You can be really smooth on your steering. Yes, this car is actually very smooth. I think this car is actually beating the ZL1 right now. It's a Mustang, which is... I mean, not really surprising, but... Um, so I think so. this is uh, beating that Camaro right now. I may have to buy myself one of these. Uh, I do like these GT350Rs though. It was my go-to car for a long time in Horizon Drifting too, so. I screwed up the entry on that, but the car's able to save itself. So, impressions on this car. Um, too early again, but we'll be able to save that not be able to save that because we're already in the dirt I feel like this car uh, given a lap or two and be very very fluid low clutch kick in third because you can be very smooth on steering with this car which is nice because it teaches you very good steering control like that like that was a very easy transition which is quite surprising, actually. For this car is more of a, I guess, a track car than a drift car. So, um, I think I like this car a little bit better than that Camaro. So, sticking out with these cars, we're gonna try the less powered version of these two cars. We're gonna try the GT, and then we'll try the less powerful Camaro, the non-ZL1. I believe it's just the SS. So far, the GT350R uh, for a more higher horsepower stock car, uh, I would definitely go with that one other than the Camaro, but the Camaro did handle really well too. Both these cars handle very well. So, Next car, excuse me for the hiccup, eh, I think we're going to go with, we're going to stick with these cars for the moment. We're gonna get the 
I'm gonna go down to yeah the 2015 Mustang GT so I'm gonna rent one of these we haven't wrecked a car yet so this is good I mean if you follow the channel you know uh, it's bound to happen but it hasn't happened yet I say yet lightly because it's probably gonna happen at some point so the non just the GT version see how this goes way too early but surprisingly it held that not as much power as the GT350R obviously but it does slide so let's see how these work okay oh, wow that's really smooth actually car is really smooth can't really link the turns as much but this car is really smooth and we're able to get that little hop transition so points wise because as it was say on the track so far this GT is beating all three of them so for a stock car uh, and a little bit more underpowered than the GT 250R. Uh, I have to go with this, uh, this Mustang right now, this GT. Too fast. Ooh, we almost flipped the car. So, see if we can get a nice fluid through this SE section. There we go. A little brake touch. No need a handbrake, just a little brake. e-brake that section probably could just clutch kick it we're gonna try that yep you can just clutch kick the car actually wow that threw so much angle it was able to hold the angle though this car is really smooth i'm actually surprised on how smooth these cars are it makes me wonder if i need to change my suspension style a little bit differently on the drift cars that i have because i have a very aggressive stiff setup on most of my drift cars these are very spongy more of a setup it's a stock setup so mustang gt and very less inexpensive car than the uh, gt 350r but it drifts quite well actually so now we gotta try the little brother of the zl1 so we're gonna have to uh get that camaro and give that one a shot and probably try one or two more cars here but i think these are the most known style of cars that people would buy for drifting i guess we should probably try that that's the hellcat and the charger but once again get wrecked rental cars they get wrecked all right chevy where you at okay so the difference in power between these two is 611 that's yeah that's a lot on the higher scale and you have 496 so this is a stock camaro the uh stock gt surprised me so let's see how this camaro does because the little brother of the gt350 kind of kind of was nice so i actually used one of these in horizon 3 for drifting so hopefully it uh lives up to that expectations oh wow um i kind of like the uh little little versions of the car rather than the z one and the gt 350rs oh my gosh first stock cars these things are really smooth. I could be really smooth on steering. I may have to get myself one of these stock and just just mess around with it because it it's definitely helping me become more smooth on my steering. For sure off track. So now I'm definitely curious how the the Hellcats and everything are going to do if I'm going to do those cars. 
We're gonna have to do some Japanese cars too, so probably goes on RX-7 next. But like I said, these are all stock rental cars. Nothing doesn't want to go into gear. None of these are changed at all. Too much again. I wish you could get points out here, but you can't. Flick in. Wow, it's really smooth. I like this one and the GT. I mean, the GT 350R was nice, the ZL1 was nice, but these are, I think it's because it has less power. They just feel nicer. I'm very comfortable drifting around, I'd say around 500 horse. It's a very good basic drift setup. I mean, you can go really up there at a thousand and stuff, but the cars get very twitchy. Unless you have a spot on tune, which I'm still working to try and get. So stock Camaro. Uh, I think so far I like the stock Camaro the best. So if you want a cheap drift car, that's very smooth and very easy to drift. Uh, the Camaro or the Mustang GT are uh, bar none good choices to have. Dodge Hellcat SRT, 648 horsepower, and then you have the Challenger SRT 8. All right, we're going to try the Hellcat. Stock Hellcat SRT. Let's see how it slides. Kind of worried about it though. It's a big girl. Oof. I don't like how it's paddle shifters. Well, it definitely has power. And it definitely slides. Let's see how smooth it is though. Too fast. All right, so it's it's pretty smooth. Oh, until you hit grass, still hit the wall. We still have successfully not wrecked a rental car, so I'm happy about that. So the Hellcat is not as smooth as the other cars. I think it's the, this thing being supercharged. Oh, it's throwing it a little bit off. Like unlike the other ones that are just straight power. that not points all right so I think my favorite car that we've chosen between some of the American cars is definitely gonna be that Camaro oh this is pretty good too but it's not as smooth as the other cars Stand corrected. It's pretty smooth. Ooh, don't wreck it! Oh, the first car that we've, first rental car we've wrecked is, of course, the Dodge. I thought it was gonna be the Mustang. I was absolutely wrong. So, one more car before we finish this off. A little less powerful, but still sticking to the domestic cars. We go back to Dodge. Uh, Vipers are uh, uh, definitely a no-go on the Vipers. SRT, nope. So, I think we're going to go with the Challenger SRT8. See how this thing slides. 
stock rental car. Oh boy. Instead, this thing's definitely a big girl. I don't like how they're paddle shifters. I guess it doesn't really matter because I'm not actually shifting paddle shifters. And the gears are really low on this one. Oh, okay. Um, it slides pretty nice, but I think the, I think we have to go to second. The other cars were third. I think it's the second gear car. Not bad, but this is at 540 horse, so this is like where I'm comfortable. I'm comfortable around 500. 500 to 550 600 maybe max is where I'm really comfortable at drifting It has the power to do what you want it, but it doesn't have The immense amount of power like a thousand horsepower that just blows your car completely sideways Okay, so This car is pretty nice, too It's funny watching that cluster go into neutral when I shift and then to try <laughs> Oh, that's interesting. All right, so we have to downshift this to third because this is more of a third and second gear car. Too much, as always. So stock, it's definitely a big car. I really didn't even pull the e-brake there. That was just body weight. And it's pretty smooth. So for a stock cars, I am thoroughly impressed with all the cars that I've driven right now. The GT350R, the Z01, the factory, just Camaro, the factory GT, the Hellcat, and then this SRT. Uh, I still think the Camaro is probably still my favorite. So I think we're going to take that Camaro. Or we'll take the GT50R because that car was pretty smooth. We'll take, because, uh, you know what? I would have to go with the Camaro being, the two Camaro and the Mustang being my two favorites. Let's see how it, uh, see how it handles Maple Valley though. I don't know if it's going to have the power to do the sweeper, but we're definitely going to find out. Probably gonna be picking one of these cars up for myself here to modify them a little bit. Yeah, so the power for these long sweepers is not really here. I didn't expect that, so probably need GT250R for that. But these easier turns. It's definitely there. So I think that's going to do it here for this episode here on Forza Motorsports 7. If you guys like to see and want to see more, don't forget to tap and subscribe. I do appreciate the support. As well, you know, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. All of which are found in the description box below. Yup. I'm going to have to pick up one of these cars for myself. Can we make that? I am so surprised we made that. But this car is just killing it. And these are stock. No changing, no modifications, nothing. Just buy it, drift it, have a good time with it. Oh hit some signs because it's a Mustang, you know. Luckily, it's no crowds, but signs will work. <laughs> Ooh. Got a little bit more of this track to do. Nothing really major, though. Except a really hard throw. Saved it! Nailed it! So as always guys, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. 
<laughs> Ooh, just tap. Nope. All right, let's see if we can get the sweeper real quick. Stock power, stock car. Yup, let it rip. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Oh boy. Ah, don't wreck it. So close. Yet so far. That was pretty close. That's money right there. What? This thing is stock too. Holding 15 large. Wow. I'm definitely picking myself up one of these cars. I don't know which one I want though. Probably gonna be that GC350R if I can. I don't think I can even buy that car. Jeez, oh man, this car is crazy fun. Let's try a hard entry. I knew we were gonna get points for that. Just tap. We're good. Just tap. <laughs> well, that's gonna do it here for this episode here on Forza Motorsport 7. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Stock Cars, Stock Drift Car Challenge. If you guys want it, I would recommend picking up at least one of the either GT or the Factory Camaro, the Z, uh, ZL1, and the GT350 are also amazing drift cars as well. They're on the higher power side, so if you want to pick up a good car and just start drifting it, you know, without having to tune it, definitely some good choices right there. I am going to probably be doing another one of these episodes with JDM cars, so if you guys want to see that, comment down below, like this video, and subscribe if you have not already done so. I do appreciate the support. So until next time, guys, I'm Evil Rabbit. I'm out.